So, shaitan makes us sin and sometimes major sin. And then he traps you further when you want to turn back to Allah and you're seeking the forgiveness of Allah by making you think that you're not forgiven. That is one of the biggest traps of shaitan. And that's the highlight of tonight. It is a, it is a greater sin than adultery to lose hope in the mercy of Allah. Did you hear what I just said? To commit a sin is bad. It's unacceptable. But you're a human. Your human nature made you sin. Not your defiance against Allah. It was human nature. Shaitan causes depression. And he causes that, you know, mental condition. Just because you think, oh gosh, what did I do? I need now this will happen. That will happen. Yes, you regret. I agree. But you don't become depressed because you have a Lord who is most forgiving, most merciful. And that's why the verse of mercy that we have, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about immorality, which includes adultery. It includes that which is immoral, pornography, whatever else it may be. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about Paradise for those who have turned back to Allah after committing all these sins. وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَةً أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ ذَكَرُوا اللَّهَ فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ Those who have wronged themselves, committed immorality, etc. If they were to remember Allah and seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after their sins, and they were to do good deeds, at the end of those verses Allah says, those are the people whom we will forgive and grant paradise to. Wow. What did Allah say? Read the verses. Allah says clearly, those who did bad, they committed sins, they did major sins, they turned to us. When they turned to us, we forgave them. And when they started doing good deeds and they stayed away, if they fell again, they came back again. If they fell again, they came back again. Nobody from amongst us sins out of defiance of Allah, but we sin out of the weakness of humankind. Adam alayhi salam committed the only sin that there was to commit, and he still committed it. Agree? Why did Allah love him so much? Because he says, Oh Allah, forgive me. Rabbana zalamna anfusana wa illam tawfir lana wa tarhamna lana kunan min al Oh our Rabb, forgive us. We have wronged ourselves. If you don't forgive us and have mercy on us, we're going to be the losers. Allah says, We love you so much. We know you sinned because you were deceived by the devil. Don't lose hope in our mercy. We've forgiven you. That was Allah's plan. So when Allah says, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Tell them, O oh my worshippers, who have transgressed against themselves, never ever lose hope in the mercy of Allah. For indeed, for indeed, He will forgive all your sins. He is the most forgiving, the most merciful. That's what Allah says in the Quran. Tell them, never lose hope in my mercy. And guess what shaitan makes us do? He makes us lose hope in his mercy. So we're defying a verse of the Quran. We're defying the quality of Allah. We're denying the quality of Allah, which is the most merciful, the most loving, the most forgiving, the most kind, the most compassionate. And we're doubting it, in fact, denying it. That's a trap of the devil. That's probably the biggest trap of the devil. If a person hasn't prayed all their lives, they haven't done the right things all their lives, and they are turning to Allah, trying their best, Allah's mercy is greater than anything else. Understand that. Don't ever allow yourself to feel useless and cheap when you know within your heart there is a flicker of belief in the mercy of Allah. Two more minutes for 45 minutes, my brother. 
That's your short nasiha. Zakallah khair. Don't ever, ever lose hope in the mercy of Allah. It's a bigger sin than the sin you committed. Because now you're distancing from Allah. And when you think that's it, you start becoming so despondent. And you turn further away until you become a worshipper of the devil. Because now you start thinking there's nothing for me. And you know what? The, the difficulties you're going through. And this is the last thing I will say, inshallah. The difficulties that you're going through by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do not depict the anger of Allah. Never. It doesn't mean that the difficulties you're going through depict the, angers, the anger of Allah. No, they don't. It has got to do with the condition of your heart. If you're content because you've recognized Allah, that's never a punishment. No matter what Moses, may peace be upon him, went through at the hands of the Pharaoh, he was very content. No matter what Jesus, may peace be upon him, went through at the hands of the Romans, he was very content. No matter what Muhammad وسلم, went through at the hands of Quraysh, he was extremely content. Why is it that we go through a pin drop compared to what they have been and we're not content at all? Because we need to do a little bit more to recognize our maker. So these are some of the traps of the devil. He makes us lose hope. He makes us actually think that we're written off completely. He makes us think that there's no hope for us. And we should never ever fall in this particular trap. Or in the trap of the devil. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless every one of us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us from his favor, gather us in Jannatul Firdaus, and prior to that, allow us to enjoy the beautiful meal that's about to be served. Aqulu qawli hadha, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad. Thank you so much for listening to the short message. I pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope, and the same applies to all of us. Jazakumullah khair, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.